The question 15 is to graph the reciprocal functions, that is the cosecant, secant and cotangent functions. Here we have been given this equation and we need to graph it. This is question number 15, that's the last question in the first part, the MCQ part. So you will have four answers of the graph. You have to just choose the correct answer. So what I'll do is I'll teach you the shortcut calculator method. You just need your calculator and type this out. But can you type cosecant directly? No, but we know cosecant is the reciprocal function. It is 1 by sine. That is cosecant. Now write 1 by sine and this uh, function over here, 3 by 4. And instead of x, we have to put alpha x over here. That's the variable. And that's it. Now all you need to do is calculate at different values. Press calc and do at different values. We need to see the options here. Now this is the correct answer, right? There will be four different graphs. Now let us just take, say, the point 0. I'll calculate it at 0. I'm getting a math error because it's undefined. It's an asymptote over there. Now let me choose other value. Let me calculate, say, at 2 pi by 3. When you're writing 2 pi by 3, you can't just use a fraction symbol. You can use bracket for 2 pi and then divide it by 3. But since all are in multiplication, you can just write 2 times 180. Remember, we are using in degrees. If you change this mode to radian, then you can use pi. But let's leave it in degrees. Pi is 180 divided by 3. And here you go. The answer is 1. Is it true? Yes, it's 1. Let me just quickly check, calculate 2 pi. 2 pi is 2 times 180, that is 360 degrees. It is minus 1, yes. I can check any other points in between that also. And you must get the correct answer. Only one graph will remain. All the others will have wrong points. You can easily eliminate them. So the same concept is used for all the other graphs. Now over here, instead of cosecant, we have to write 1 by sine 3x and eliminate all the other options. And that's how we do it. So everything is same, just write this equation as it is and check for the answers. For the tangent function, cotangent function, I mean, we have to be careful. Because here there are some values which will be undefined. So now, I will tell you the method to avoid that as well. First of all, let's use our calculators and write this out. We have to write it in terms of 1 by tan because cotangent is equal to 1 by tan. Now we write 2x, that's fine. Now 0 over here, let's calculate at 0. It is error. Yes, it should be error because it's asymptote. Even at 90, it is a math error because it's undefined over there, asymptote. Now, if I calculate in the middle, that is 45 degrees, I will get an error. Why? Because the tan value is 0 and over here we have written 1 by tan. So over here when it's 0, it's undefined. So how do you avoid that? Here there's a simple method. Calculate. Instead of 45, I will put 44.999. Can you see that? Now I will get almost equal to 0 because 10 to the power minus 10 means it's less than nano. Nano is 10 to the power minus 9. So it will be 0, 0.0. It's a small, small number. It's equivalent to 0. Or I can do this 45.0001. You can see here uh, it is a very, very small number which corresponds to 0. This is one thing you need to do for cotangent functions. And now, if you just choose any other point, say 22.5, then you will get proper. It's uh, half of 45 is 22.5 and it should be 1. Yes, that's correct. So this is how we can easily find out the correct answer for cotangent. And uh, cosecant is the same way. We have just done all these graphs. Easy to find. Just use the calculator and eliminate the others. Secant is 1 by cosine. So easily use this cosine function and you will get it. Now we will go to one more type of problem. So we here. Please try to eliminate other graphs and get this. Try practicing in your calculator. Now for the question 12, here they have given you this function and they have told we have to find which are the vertical asymptotes. This also can be easily done in calculator. Just type the given function over here and calculate at different x values. Let's start minus pi by 2, that is minus 180 divided by 2. You can write directly minus 90. So we, here we have 0. If there is asymptote, we should get a math error. So this is not true. Let's try calculate it at minus pi by 4, that is minus 45 degrees. 
it's a math error so over here i can definitely say there's an asymptote how about zero calculated at zero i'm getting zero calculated at positive 45 it's a math error so there is a math error at two points and let's check the last one 90 no it's not a math error it's zero so what we understand is b and d are the math error and since over here we are not using one by anything this is the correct answers directly you can tell b and d is the uh, asymptotes whereas for the other options we are getting some values so that can't be asymptotes now here as well let's okay they have given us the graph and asked us which is it now don't go to solve for all these functions and then check out the graph you can easily eliminate few graphs it is not cosine function why because cos graph is you know continuous we have seen cos graph many times here the secant graph is yes, this is obviously secant if it was secant and cosecant, then it's a little bit tricky, but this is secant, it starts from here. Now, what is the amplitude here? It's 3, but look at the amplitude here, it's 1. So, A should be the answer, because amplitude is 1, right? And over here we have 3x, that means this, you know, thins, thins up, like it shrinks. But that is fine, we are just looking into the amplitude and easily eliminating C option. So, only the option, possible option is A. So, that must be the correct answer. That's how you can easily eliminate the other options and find the correct answer using your calculator. That's the end of the part one, the last question of part one. I hope you have found these videos helpful and beneficial. Please do share it with your friends. If you have benefited from it, please do subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in the next part, that's the part two.